So I went back after I passed the written and we started all over again and things like that. So now the day arrived for when the man said, they always said the man is coming, you know, you know who we talk about then. He came down that afternoon, it was just after a rain, and the air was just kind of heavy, like just like silk, it was just beautiful. And they also said, Janet, get in the plane and just be, just, just relax and everything. So uh, we adorned our parachutes, it is on, I'm not on, okay, I'm ready. We took off and uh, he pulled a false landing and the same place where the kids had told me where he's going to pull it. So, okay, let's climb up, up and doing different maneuvers as we got up and went through the spins and all, everything. And that little plane, you know, everybody had their own plane. And you know, just, it seemed like you could talk to it or it would talk to you. You merged right into a plane, you know, just the feeling you get. And I knew that little old plane was doing everything for me. Coming down, we landed. So happy. There was Ray and, and the rest of the instructors was there, came out to see and Chief came over and said, how did you do, Mr. Hudson? Well, Chief, I'll tell you. She did very well. I put up against any of your instructors. I've never given a color girl a commercial pilot license. I don't intend to. And we all stood there and looked at each other, you know. And Chief didn't know, well, I think he was so dumbfounded, he didn't know what to say. Chief will cry in a minute, you know. I think tears were coming out of his eyes. So Bob, I said, well, that's all right, we do. Now, if, if he had said she didn't, she needed to work on her spins, or she needed to do this maneuver, or something that was different, but he said, he didn't say anything was wrong with the fine, but he wasn't going to give me a commercial power license because I was a black woman. So it was pretty sad for all of us. 